going on guys? Liam from BRL Digital here and today I have an exciting one. I'm going to be teaching you how to buy digital land in the metaverse, okay? I know this can be very confusing to some of you, but it's actually really easy once you know what you're doing. So I'm going to be running through the top three platforms you can be doing this or the top three metaverses you could be doing this and how to do them, how to set it up, how to find the best ones and the pros and cons of each metaverse. Some have benefits, some have negative parts. I'm just going to be running through letting you know everything you need to know about this. I'm personally invested in all three of these so hang in tight, bear with me. I'm going to try and explain this as in basic terms as I can possibly do. Let's get it. All right, guys. So, Sandbox is our first um, look. It's probably the most, It's I think it's the second biggest decentralized uh, metaverse. However, as far as land sales go, I really do think Sandbox probably is the most popular land to buy. Now, there's a limited amount, and that's why they are becoming so expensive. There's only 164,000 of them, and they, obviously when they're sold out, they just, they're just doing this. And you can see there's some big names in here. Look, we've got Snoop Dogg, we've got, we got um, Steve Aoki here, Atari, Smurf, like these guys have all bought big plots of land in here and that is why it is getting so expensive it's getting snapped up by these big companies Gucci's just bought some land and they're going to be selling um, clothing within the game so it's it's get it's crazy man it's getting really really big so as we see if we navigate to sandbox.game you will need a metamask wallet when you sign up here i'll drop a link in the description below and that will show you how to set up a metamask wallet it's very easy um but that sort of acts that will allow you to get into open sea decentral games pretty much all sandbox all the big um things so a metamask wallet's super handy anyway and that this is going to allow you to buy land you can transfer money into it and then you'll buy the land with the money in your actual wallet either ethereum or sandbox um, currency is sort of how you buy it now as we can see here in the legend um we have um you know orange is for sale premium and then on open sea now i'll go into open sea in a minute but as you can see here if we click on a little white one we can see this one for sale for eight Ethereum, which is about thirty thousand um, dollars, and we can see everything about the land and um, where it is and everything like that. So, as you can see there, we can buy it from the actual map, or we can come over to the marketplace here, scroll down, and we're going to go to lands, and this is going to show you where they are as well. As well. Premiums, they're going to be so expensive. And um, that this will have everything for sale within the game. And then, as you can see here, OpenSea, which is just here. So, OpenSea, you just type in Sandbox up here and it'll bring you to make sure it's got a blue tick when you're buying from it. It's very, make sure you're not buying some scam land. And this should have everything. Um, on OpenSea. I sort of like buying from OpenSea a little bit better because you've got all these filters here. Um, so if it's red here, that means it's on auction. So let's go to buy now and have a little look. And this is my very first drawback with Sandbox and it's first negative because I love Sandbox. It's amazing. However, us as retail users, as gamers, have a look at this. The cheapest plot of land you can buy in Sandbox is 3.5 Ethereum, which is $10,900 it's too much for the average player you know what I mean it's it's way too much sort of thing so as cool as it is and as much as I love the theme and the idea you can build cool things and you can do all this crazy stuff that is an absorbent amount of money to the average person and they to buy that little green square people aren't just going to really going to be able to wrap their heads around it so probably the first drawback for sandbox um, but it also means that it's that shows you how popular it is, and who knows? I might be we might be talking about how expensive they are at forty thousand dollars in a month or two's time. So that these things are going up at a rapid rate and don't seem to be slowing down. But it's a lot of money. Maybe you can get a loan or something. <laughs> but but yeah, so that's the sandbox platform. So very easy. So. MetaMask wallet, log in, go to the marketplace, check out some places, check out OpenSea, buy if you feel like it, done. That's how easy it is to buy land in the metaverse. Everyone thinks it's really, really complicated. It's actually not. Um, all right, so let's get out of that. Now, and my next one, 
This is much more user friendly for the retail user. This is a game called Upland and this is a real world metaverse where you buy and sell digital versions of the real world. Crazy, right? Okay, so when you log in, boom, it's going to look like this. They've only launched cities in America so far, but let's, I'm in LA right now. That's my, what's called Block Explorer, but essentially my character. I'm going to zoom in. Now, I'm cruising around LA right now, and what's cool about this is these plots of land here that are for sale. Actually, I might just zoom out a little bit so you can see some, gone too far. And let me go somewhere. My, my block is probably in a silly spot. Um, let's go Van Nuys. So you can see, well, I'm in LA right now. You can see all the cool places. Look, you know, there's Santa Monica. You know, there's Santa Monica um, sort of thing. And um, Bel Air, you know, Bel Air and stuff like that. So we can actually zoom in to, let's like, say, Bel Air. This will be expensive, but um, there are, I'll show you much cheaper options. Um, you can click on any property in the game. So this was person's got um, this one's got this one for sale. So you can click on the street view, and it'll show you a picture of the actual place in Bel Air that you're purchasing. So you're buying a digital version of of the real world properties, which is cool, man, and way easier to wrap your head around than um, some of the other decentralized games. Um, so. How this sort of works is, so just so you know, just to put the price in perspective, $1 is 1,000 UPEX. So this would actually, good way to do this is you put a decimal point there and said, I think this was actually for sale for, someone selling this for $700. Now that is actually pretty expensive for Upland. I'll show you a property that I own, but I own quite a few. So as you can see, all these blue dots here are properties that I own. But let's go to one here. I picked up this good one just to show you how cheap it can be. Um, I picked up this property here when it got minted. I picked it up for 8,500 UPEX, which is $8.50, okay? And I've had offers on that for $70, $80. So much more easy to get into and make some, some, some quick money sort of thing. So again, let's go up here. This is a smaller suburb. So another property that I own. Picked this one up for 7,500 UPEX, which is $7.50. Okay? So, and then you, if you find most people would try to buy things for like 17, 750, sell them for 10, 12, $13, and you can sort of build your way up really quickly like that. So, um, I, I love this game. This is much more user friendly for um, the, the new players being able to come in and purchase land and not just purchase one, but you can buy multiple. I have. I currently have, um, so I've, my portfolio is worth 1.7 million, which would be $1,700. Um, but it's um, 165 properties I own, so at least you can buy heaps of properties. Now you can also build build properties as well, which I'll just show you quickly. I've got um, got some properties being built in Chicago as well. And the cool thing about this game is. You don't need a MetaMask wallet. You put your email address and everything, log in, and then you, you're sort of good to go, um, um, sort of thing. And this is this is actually pretty cool. So these properties here, actually, what I'll need to do is I'll need to go over them manually. But I can show you how quickly you can act, sort of actually earn money by building properties in Upland. Um, so. Um, so I'm just on my laptop, so I'm going to do this manually. Bear with me. Okay, so I purchased this property for $4.50, $4.60, $4,600 UPEX. And now when, once you've built a property on them, it takes about a month. It's built, now they're selling for $110. Okay, so $4 month later, $110, pretty good. So. This game's much more user friendly for the new new users. I'll put a link in the description below, um, and which will give you a reference code. It'll actually give you bonus upex when you join the game too. When you put a little bit of money in, they match you fifty percent. So if you put fifty bucks in, it'll give you another twenty five for free. So that's really cool. So Upland really easy to log in, very cheap to start, um, and uh, much more user friendly for the new new player sort of thing. Um, 
And yeah, I, I, pretty much everyone I know that plays this game has made money playing that sort of thing. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, final one, and this is very similar to. Um, oh, sorry, guys. Is Decentraland very very similar to the Sandbox? As you can see here, this is the land map. As you can see, almost identical. They don't have all the cool pictures with Snoop Dogg and everything there, but. Very, very similar to um, all these light blue ones here are for sale. Um, you can buy these. These are roads um, and properties a little bit more value to them. So how you buy land with this, again, MetaMask wallet, buy some Ethereum and you can buy it within the game here. Or again, you can head over to OpenSea and let's have a look at Decent. Oh, did that wrong. Let's have a look. It's even more expensive. 4.7. This is mind blowing, man. 4.14 thousand dollars for one small plot of land like this. It's insane. Insane. But look, people are paying it. Maybe you can buy that for 14,000 and put it up for 16,000 a week later and make 2,000 bucks. I don't know. But again, very, very easy. Like I said, MetaMask Wallet set that up. So the lead to these two games, so Sandbox and Decentraland, it's all MetaMask. Log in MetaMask. Once that's set up, you can buy very easily. Um, you can purchase Ethereum straight within the MetaMask and then you just say you wanted this property. You probably need to have a little bit more than 4.9 because it will be a fee, a gas fee. And um, so you'd buy say 4.8 um, ethereum log in and just simply click buy now and i don't have four and then it will say click metamask and you click your metamask that easy but jesus christ it's so much money but anyway i personally own land in all three um i'm quite quite bullish on them all however i'm, I'm just having much more fun playing up land because it's just I just feel like it can be mass adopted by players a lot more than just more businesses. Like I feel like Sandbox and um, and uh, Decentraland are more. They're just going to be, end up being big companies owning the land, and we play on the land sort of thing, which is cool. But like I want to be able to build things and have a casino and host parties and have poker nights and stuff like that. I don't want to um, just run around and pay other people to play. So um, play their games. So. They're all, all awesome. Love them all. They've all got, as you saw, I've got, they've all got their drawbacks and good things. But um, we all know how big the metaverse is going to be over the coming coming months, and um, I dare say these prices are going to keep going up. So happy hunting, guys! I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Happy to help out and answer any questions. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one.